Hi everybody. In this video, I will guide you through the steps to activate the Microsoft Authenticator app on a new phone when you already have a backup saved from your old phone. This is the easiest way to move your Authenticator without losing access to your accounts. You will need access to both your old and new phone to complete this process. Start by making sure your new phone has a stable internet connection. Then, go to the App Store if you're using an iPhone or the Google Play Store if you're using an Android phone. In the search bar, type Microsoft Authenticator. Once you find the app, tap Install. Wait for the app to finish downloading before opening it. After the app is installed, open it. The app may ask for permission to send you notifications. It is best to allow this so that you can receive sign-in approval requests from your Microsoft account. Now, on your old phone, open the Microsoft Authenticator app. Tap the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen, then select Settings. In the Settings menu, look for an option called Cloud Backup if you are using an iPhone or Backup if you are using an Android phone. This feature allows your account information to be saved securely to your Microsoft account. Check to make sure Backup is turned on. If it is off, sign in with your Microsoft account and turn it on. It may take a few seconds for the backup to complete. You should see the date and time of the last backup listed below the switch. Make sure this shows the most recent backup before continuing. Once the backup is confirmed, go back to your new phone. Open the Microsoft Authenticator app again. On the first screen, tap Begin Recovery. You will now be asked to sign in using the same Microsoft account that you used for the backup on your old phone. Enter your email address and password. If you have two-factor authentication turned on, you might need to approve the sign-in using your old phone or a code sent to your email or phone number. After you sign in, the app will automatically search for your backup. Once it finds it, it will begin restoring your account data. This includes all the accounts that were saved in your old Authenticator app. Wait for the restore process to finish. This usually takes a few seconds, depending on how many accounts you have. When the process is complete, you will see all your accounts listed in the app on your new phone. Each account will begin generating time-based codes, just like on your old device. Open one of the accounts and compare the codes on both phones to confirm they match. Once everything looks correct and your codes are working, you can safely remove the Microsoft Authenticator app from your old phone. It is important to double-check that all accounts have been restored before deleting the app from the old device. That's how you activate the Microsoft Authenticator app on a new phone using a backup. It is a quick and safe way to move your two-factor authentication without losing access to your important accounts.